Good morning. It is Phil to the Bram, and it is Tuesday, June 7th. And the Lord is speaking to me this morning about things that we don't like. Actually, the phrase is, but I don't like it. But I don't like it. And I think it's important for us to recognize that there are simply just things that is part of our walk with the Lord that we're just not going to like. Because it goes against our flesh. It's part of our mind being transformed is to take thoughts captive. And many of those thoughts we have to take captive are things that maybe our flesh would be appealing to the that our flesh would want to do those things. And the Lord's saying, no, that is not my way. He's teaching us. He's training us. And we simply don't like it. And central to this is what Jesus told us, that we're going to have sufferings. Actually, to become more like Jesus, we share in his sufferings. And the concept of suffering is this. We're simply not going to like it. Suffering has to do with things that we do not like. And Jesus modeled to us suffering. He modeled to us obedience. He modeled to us submission. He modeled to us surrender. And the truth is this, we will have to go through sufferings in our life. Many times our response to suffering is to get out of it to try to do everything possible, to use every mechanism possible to get out of suffering. But the truth is, the Lord does use suffering in our life to conform us to His image. You know, the definition of suffering is the state of undergoing pain, distress, or hardship. So, the fact is this. We will experience pain, distress, and hardship. At the same time, the hope in the suffering is this, that the Lord is at work in our lives. And not that he causes our suffering, not that he's the author of our suffering, but he does use our suffering so that we are conformed to his image. Do I like that? No. I don't like it. Is it true? Yes, it is true. And it's part of us denying ourselves. This is what Jesus says to his followers, and therefore he says it to us. Matthew 16, 24. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Let's break this down a little bit, because he says anyone. So that means all of us. That means whether you lived in the first century with Jesus, when he was here on earth, or you're here today, 2022, anyone. That's part of the deal. The deal is this, that we have to deny ourselves and pick up our cross. This is central to us being a true follower. Central, you know, this is something our culture in 2022 wants to reject about Christianity or walking with Jesus, being a follower of Jesus. We don't want to receive it. I don't receive that. How many times have I heard that phrase? I don't receive that. Well, maybe it's something we are to receive. In this phrase, what Jesus says is we are to receive this. That we do have to deny ourselves. We do have to pick up a cross. The cross. Jesus said the cross. You have to pick up your cross. This was before Jesus went to the cross. So, what they were looking at, what Jesus was telling them, was something that they saw and was something that the Roman government used to display suffering and to, to not just discipline, but destroy people who were in rebellion or going against what the Roman government wanted. And the fact is this, so the cross was not only a place of suffering, it was a place of public suffering public suffering. Many times in our suffering, other people are going to see it. A lot of times we want to explain it to others. There are sufferings in our lives that we don't even understand, where we just have to trust the Lord in the process, the process, the journey that He is with us. See, suffering is not something that we know exactly what God is doing. And many times we're trying to interpret what the Lord is doing through this suffering and that is not going to yet be revealed until later. And sometimes, 
the sufferings that we go through as his children on this side, on the, in this earth, we will not understand until eternity. But the truth is this, the Lord does use these sufferings in our life. You know, suffering's really hard to talk about. It's not a uh, enjoyable subject. We love the glory, we love the blessings, we love the favor, we love the healings, we love the miracles. And those things are a part of the walk with the Lord. <laughs> Isn't that a beautiful thing? But so are the sufferings. There is something there at work in us when we are suffering, but Jesus' presence is there. Jesus is at work in us. The Holy Spirit is with us. Jesus tells us, pick up the cross. Pick up the cross. And that was a cruel and hideous thing that Jesus was referring to. The crucifixion was cruel and hideous. And at the same time, he says, pick up the cross. Mark 10, 29, this is also what Jesus says. Truly I tell you, no one who has left home or brothers or sisters or mothers or father or children or fields for me and the gospel will fail to receive a hundred times as much in this present age, homes, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, and fields, along with persecutions and in the age to come and eternal life. Now, this is a great balance to the suffering that Jesus talks about as part of a follower. Is that in the sacrifice, as we abandon, in a sense he's saying, you're leaving your old life for the new life that I am calling you to. And there will be blessing and favor in that new life because you belong to me. But remember, along with the multiplication of that blessing, there will also be persecutions. Persecutions. That is part of the journey. That's part of your journey as the follower of Christ. That's part of my journey. And too many believers want the world to like us. And, and I don't mean because we're offensive in the sense of attitude or super superiority or judgmental spirit. No, I'm talking about the world wanting to reject us because we have the light of Jesus. We have the love of Jesus. We're the salt of the earth. And the fact is this, the enemy is against that and he uses people in this world to persecute the believers because the enemy wants to stomp out Jesus and we are his body we are his hand extended you need to realize this yes there are persecutions and sufferings and that is something we don't like but intertwined with that according to what Jesus says in this scripture in Mark 10 29 is this that there's also multiplied blessing so we need to recognize in the midst of our sufferings we can know Lord, I know that somehow you bless me in the midst of this. Jesus also said, John 15, verse 18, If the world hates you, keep in mind that it hated me first. Now, the Gospel of John is called the Gospel of Love because one of the greatest scriptures that was ever spoken by Jesus was, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, and whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. At the same time, Jesus says later in that very gospel of love that John writes that the world's going to hate you. The world's going to reject you because we are life givers. When we have Christ in us, we are life givers. And the world will reject that. People will reject that. But get this, there are some whoever's out there. And we have been placed in this world amidst suffering, amidst persecution, amidst being rejected because we carry the message of the gospel, we carry the light of Jesus, we carry the love of Jesus. Amidst all of that, there are the whoever's that will receive. That is the blessing in the midst of the persecution. That is one of the blessings in the midst of the persecution. The fact is this, we will share in the sufferings of Christ as his children. I don't like that sometimes. That's something that I wish wasn't on the list when it comes to being a follower of Christ. But he has called us 
as his children to deny ourselves, pick up our cross, and follow him. I think the greatest suffering many times that we experience is the denial of ourselves. Not necessarily the persecution that comes from others, but denying our own flesh and saying, I choose you, Jesus. I don't choose what I want. I choose you. I'll pick up my cross and follow you. I want you to pray about this word. This is going to be the theme for this week. I, I don't like it, but I don't like it. This is the theme because you know what? That's part of the walk. That's part of the powerful walk. That's part of being a muscle Christian. Is saying, you know what? In my flesh, I don't like it, but I embrace what you have for me. God bless you. Pray about this word.